Hi y'all, I'm Natalia and if you are wondering why the southern accent is stuck on me, um, there's a good reason for that because I have just found a show called Heart of Dixie on Netflix and I have been binge watching all the episodes and the accent is just stuck on me for now so you might have to be experiencing that for this entire episode and I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> well, we're going to have a lot of fun with that, maybe. Um, I love accents. It's just something that I will always pick up. Uh, I grew up originally learning British English, so I grew up speaking very proper British English. And whenever I'm around English people, or if I spend some time in London, I most certainly start speaking with a proper British accent. And if I spend some time in New York, I become a New Yorker. And when I call my, on my husband, sometimes I sound like Mark and uh, my daughter. And uh, well, it doesn't always come out, but a lot of my friends are like, what exactly are you trying to say? And what accent are you with today? So today we're with a Southern accent. And the show that we're doing today is all about Mother's Day. This is a super easy special treat that will make your mom feel extra, extra special. We are going to be using this Griddler by Cousinart and we're going to be making a dessert style panini for, that you can serve to your mom for breakfast. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, for bread, so I've been looking at all of these different breads and I usually go gluten-free for my bread, but I just figure I'll share a little bit of a story. So we found this bread, it's called Dave's Killer Bread. Um, super interesting, it actually looks incredible, it's organic, it's got five grams of protein, five grams of fiber, really interesting. So you can try that. Oh, the story with this bread is, um, Dave apparently spent 15 years in prison and then found himself in love for cooking and started a bread company. That's one way to recover and have success. So, go Dave. <laughs> um, so, if you uh, like that bread, you can use that bread. Whatever bread you want to use for this panini, it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't think pumpernickel would taste good with that though. So. <laughs> Just find some bread that you think your mom would really enjoy. Something in the shape of a square probably is better. All right, so we're gonna try this bread today. And so we're gonna take these two slices and put them on our cutting board. So the whole panini is going to be chocolate hazelnut with banana. Oh, that sounds so delicious. I've been making these for a while now and they're really good. So for your chocolate spread, I found this bread called Nocciolata. This is organic and it's dairy free. So it's really good. It doesn't have any garbage in it. Absolutely delicious. So we have our chocolate hazelnut spread and we have our banana. So I'm just gonna cut up this banana into nice slices. And I'm gonna show you this super delicious extra trick to make your panini taste even better. So I have melted some butter in this bowl and I'm gonna take a pastry brush and I'm just gonna brush this butter right onto this bread. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bread and we're gonna flip it so the butter is gonna be on the outside, all right? Take our hazelnut spread and spread it all over. My mouth is already watering. So once we get the panini done, I'm going to show you a little yogurt parfait that would complement this so nicely. Now we take the bananas and spread them out here. This 
hazelnut spread even smells incredible. You will love it so much. The way I get it is I actually get a six pack right on Amazon, deliver it straight to my house. Okay, so we layer our bananas, nice. We get a little towel. We put this piece over this way. And now we're gonna open our panini press. And we are going to put this right in the center and close it up. And while we're waiting, we don't have to wait, this is gonna take just a few minutes. While we're waiting, we are going to assemble our little parfait to go as a complimentary side to this beautiful panini. All right, let me show you how we're gonna be assembling this really beautiful and delicious yogurt parfait, really nice. So I have found this Icelandic yogurt and it's super high in protein. It's 26 grams of protein per serving, per serving and the serving size is one cup. So even half a cup is 13 grams and 13 grams of protein is a whole lot and it's delicious. And it's not super high in sugar, which I like. All right, so we're going to, anytime you open a jar of yogurt, I recommend that you just give it a good mix because sometimes when it sits, you get a little bit of the liquid that comes up either to the top or to the bottom. So we're gonna just mix all of this up nice and place it in our glass cup. This is so good. This really reminds me of a very nice and heavy, uh, very European style yogurt. Next, we're going to put some granola onto this. So if you have not heard of this brand called Purely Elizabeth, I recommend you check it out. I actually met Elizabeth. So both her and I are graduate of the Institute for, of Integrated Nutrition. So she's an alum, just like I am. And so she started this company. I met her one time at Aspen Food and Wine Festival, and we took some pictures together. So we had a really nice chat. So I love her granola, it's delicious. And I just thought that what would complement our beautiful banana panini other than a chocolate sea salt and peanut butter Granola, how about that? Because bananas, chocolate, and peanut butter, how much better can this get? I bet your mom's gonna be so happy that you made this for her for brunch. All right, so we're gonna add some of this one right on here. Sometimes some of these pieces are a little bit chunky, so if you wanna break them up, that's totally fine. Oh, this is gonna look beautiful. You just wait, you're gonna make your mom's day. Absolutely, she's gonna feel so special when you show up serving this beautiful breakfast. So I'm starting to smell our sandwich. Oh, it looks like it's about ready. Okay, we just need to finish this up. Okay, so now we're just gonna take some berries and throw those in the glass. Look how pretty this is gonna be so spectacular and so special and nourishing. Now, I'm a mother myself. I have a teenage daughter who I love so much. It's the best being a mom is the most important job that I have. I always try to arrange my schedule so that I'm available for her, and especially while she's in high school. So there you are. There's our gorgeous parfait, and now let's take our sandwich. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing and smells fabulous too. All right, so now all we have to do is put it on a plate and garnish it. 
So I have this really pretty play. Now, of course, everybody usually has a preference on how they like their bread cut with their sandwiches. Some people like it cut straight. I personally like it cut on the diagonal because we have to be a little bit more fancy and sophisticated, right? Okay. Check this out. This looks incredible and it smells so good and I'm just dying to take a bite out of it, but of course I'm just going to make it show you how you can assemble it in the most prettiest way, okay? Because it's all about you having success. All right, so one last thing that I'm going to do for garnish is we're going to use this whipped coconut cream, all right? So they now sell this in the freezer section so you don't even have to do any of the whipping. All right, so we take our dairy-free coconut whipped topping and just put it right on top. Now, isn't that so pretty? I'm sure your mom's gonna really appreciate it. Let's put it all on a serving tray and then we can get your mom really surprised. All right, and I, if my daughter were to make this for me, I would be so, so happy and so appreciative. If you're a mom, or if you're gonna make this for your mom, or if you're a mom that wanna surprise your mom. I just wanna wish you all the happiest Mother's Day. The job that we do is so hard, and sometimes there are days when it just seems like nobody appreciates you. Well, just know that you are appreciated, even through all the challenges and all the difficult days, because the job that we do as mom is the most important job in the world. And I'm sending you so much love from Florida. Please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends and have the happiest Mother's Day.